Yo, what's going on? It's Solo E in the building. And today I will be showing you guys how I was able to finesse the Facebook ad for my music, for my music strategy. I'm gonna show you guys how you can profit over $3,000 from this same strategy that I use. And I only spend 600 bucks for a 30 day Facebook ad campaign and it overproduced phenomenal. I'm gonna literally run down my data. I'm very transparent when it comes to it, so you guys will see every little bit of pieces. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on my computer. Alright guys, so in this video, I kind of want to walk you through all of the data, exactly how I got the 1,000 plus fans on Facebook, and I'm going to kind of let you know that these 1,000 fans can be accumulated into dollar signs, basically if you're selling any type of product, any type of courses, or any type of merchandise, regardless if you are like an influencer, um, a music artist, or whatever it is that you got going on you can essentially make money from these fans because really five to 10% of these thousands of fans that I do have on my Facebook will purchase something from me, whether if that's a t-shirt, music, product, uh, a digital product, whatever it is, you will at least have that five to 10% of those people that will be willing to purchase, all right? So let's get into it. Um, I wanna first walk you through the data of what my fans page likes was exactly before I did my ad campaign and I want to walk you through the dollar amount of what I spent for the ad campaign then I want to walk you through the overall picture of how it produced after the ad campaign was completed all right so the very first thing if you look here I actually started my ad campaign on August 7th and then it started accumulating my numbers from there now i want you guys to understand that these are die hard fans of mine because these are fans that came from an ad campaign they seen the video they liked the video either they comment on the video and then they went ahead and liked me as a fan or like my fan page essentially right so that being said if you look here we we seen our numbers at 315 and then it went all the way and started going to 315 so at 315 it was august 5th of 2020 august 6th it went to 351 and then it just started going up um so let's go into august 15th because that's 10 days out so as you see guys we already produced it what about 300 fans just within 10 days this is when we were running the ad campaign and then from there it, it skyrocketed all the way up into the thousands and as you see when we ran a, a whole month so 30 day campaign we gained literally so let's say we started at 300 so let's do the math so we gained over 800 plus fans on that 30 day campaign that i ran with facebook ads so if you look here it's just still growing now currently i'm not running any ads at all just because i am just in the process of putting out new material um and, and obviously i got a lot of other stuff going on like creating videos and all of this other stuff so but as you see the numbers is not declining it's still inclining but it's just inclining very slowly but all i'm saying is that this is definitely still organic organic traffic um and at this point after you kind of see like that consistent uh stagnant level here um this is kind of when the campaign stopped so essentially the campaign actually stopped really 30 days after so it started um essentially i believe it started on the 7th and then we stopped at september 3rd and then from there it just started producing on its own so the numbers are going up and that's really just because of other things i'm doing too in the back end and that's nothing had to do with paid advertising i mean really you know the youtube channel is growing too um instagram is growing as well so that's that but let's go ahead and go into the back end because i know a lot of you guys are asking how much did he spend all right guys so as you see here yes the total amount that i spent on the ad for 30 days is 623 dollars and 45 cents now before you get into commenting or you get into talking you have to realize regardless of whatever you're spending you will want to turn your fans into 
money and i'm not essentially saying like every fan you get they're going to buy something or or something like that but you have to think of it as an investment and that's how you have to play the market game i don't care who you are i don't care what you think but if you are strictly an artist and you just now get into doing your own marketing you have to realize you have to invest in your music or your overall brand all right i mean you see it all the time you see labels do it you see management do it so it, it will be the same exact thing for you guys so six hundred dollars and 23 cents and four or six hundred and twenty three dollars and 45 cents isn't a lot at all for a 30-day campaign for me to when i drop anything i will usually spend about minimum about 1500 that's just bare minimum at this time being about 1500 and um i also have courses too if you guys are interested in, in learning the mastermind plan on how to go viral on youtube how to how I was able to get a million plays on YouTube and also go into how I was able to get a half a million plays on Spotify for absolutely free. Um, I got courses on that. I got courses on, on Facebook ads and I get more into that. If you guys want that, the link is in the description. Um, but other than that, guys, let's just start doing some calculations and doing some math real fast because I kind of want you guys to, to get the business side of this because it's really more business and less entertainment when it comes to the music industry so let's say essentially out of the um thousands let's just say we do a thousand right let's just say we do a thousand fans right so let's say we got a thousand fans right and out of those thousand fans we got what five to ten percent so let's say we have a hundred diehard fans that's willing to spend whatever it is that we got going on okay so let's say we drop a product right let's say we drop a merch and 10 percent of those fans that we got from just this campaign along brought a t-shirt from us and that t-shirt you guys let's say you sell typically like merchandise stuff can sell anywhere from about 35 to about 50 and that's usually what i see an average merchandise product would be so let's just say we do 100 times 40 is look at that so that's four thousand dollars and we had what so let's go ahead and drag this up so we literally essentially spent six hundred twenty three dollars and forty five cents now i'm gonna tell you guys this little hack and secret that you can use for when you do your music or when you do your campaign this is smart listen you're planning to drop a merchandise or you're planning to drop a project where they have to pay or or whatever it is right you will want to start a campaign like this I have a video if you want to watch the video of how to create a perfect ad campaign watch that video but in this you have to think of the content first but then you put the content out and then you create the ad so once you create the ad now you generate all those fans so once you generated those fans they are interested in something and they're waiting on you to drop something new so by, by you doing this this will help you because if you are now saying okay i got merchandise now i'm dropping it in a week or two drop a like if or drop a fire emoji if you want it and then you start getting a bunch of people commenting because you got to remember after this ad campaign was created this was back in august and this uh november right now but let's say this wasn't my marketing plan but let's just say that this is your marketing plan you guys can literally do the same exact thing right and then you can tell your fans after your ad campaign is completed or during your ad campaign you can also bring up hey i'm dropping merch in a week who's interested and you will get a lot of engaging fans because after you ran or still running your ad campaign your facebook engagement level is high because people are constantly looking at the ad and and, and there's a lot of people coming into your page so when they're seeing that content they're automatically going to like and say fire it right so if that is your campaign that you're trying to run then you can do it so essentially you will be making some money after this ad campaign because let's say you charge forty dollars right so let's do minus six hundred twenty three dollars and forty five cents look at that guys that's your profit you just made this profit right here this is three thousand dollars three hundred seventy six bucks and fifty five cents this is amazing all right now let's just let's just let's just go ahead and, and and do this again and say it's a product or it's a shirt of the campaign you ran let's say the campaign you ran was your new release and you had this amazing quote that everybody loved and xyz quote on a t-shirt and you're selling a t-shirt for 20 bucks that's still two thousand dollars and then you do 
this amount here and look at that you just made a thousand and three hundred and seventy six bucks and fifty five cents profit from a six hundred dollar campaign you see what i'm saying there's so many strategies that you can do you just really got to sit there and think about it this is an amazing strategy for us musicians us influencers whatever it is you're dropping if you if you are an influencer and you just overall want to make money you can tell people hey i got a new ebook coming out and i'm only charging 10 bucks 19.95 or you're a musician you got a, a new project coming out they can stream it for free you're still going to get money from that or you know what i'm saying you got a merch coming out and you it's so many different ways you can go about this so this is a prime example now another thing i want to show you guys in the back end because i want to show you how amazing facebook ads can be if you have that right content so if you look here you see that the impression that the people it reached was only 253 so it was 253 people and 100 and or 11 8 right and then impressions it had gotten over 340k impressions so let's go into the ad so this was the ad that i created for that campaign now if you look here it's telling me they actually reached over a half a million people right and then it got over almost about 6500 likes comments and shares together okay so if you look at this amount here which is the people reached and then you look at the actual ad campaign you can tell the difference so the ad alone had generated or reached this amount of people so why is this number less than this number guess what it's because people sharing it people viewing it people liking it people tagging other people in it is what got this amount higher than that so essentially if i was to let's say have a half a million on here my amount spend would have been a lot higher but since the beauty of this ad campaign that i ran or ran wasn't like that it was because of people liking the content they tagging their friends and family and then they're sharing it on their wall that's how this was able to generate a half a million people or generate a half a million reach people people reach so what i'm saying is <clears throat> along guys this one got 1200 shares all right we got an over 210 comments okay so with those 210 comments a lot of people tagging other people in it and it's just like yo and after your campaign is done you can go on your facebook and say hey if i drop merch will any of you guys buy it or you can kind of just do some test runs and say hey what if i was to drop this as my t-shirt or hey what if i drop this would you guys buy it just do it because obviously if they're not going if they're not going to respond there's no need for you to drop it because essentially ain't nobody interested in it right so that's what i'm saying guys you got to learn how to finesse it you got to learn how to how to how to play the business side and music if you're going to do it yourself because at the end of the day you can have people do it but why when you know you can do it yourself so if you guys are more interested in this type of information like what i said i have a course that will literally break down different strategies for you guys to make money with your music if you are an influencer it will work um other than that guys if you have any other questions make sure you comment below so as you guys see this is a strategy that i use that you can use now per se i didn't specifically use this strategy because i just wanted to build my fan base overall but believe it the next strategy that i will be doing for my next release i'm actually going to be dropping merch for that single and i'm going to be doing the exact same campaign but i'm actually going to put more money down just because i already know what it can do and then my overall plan is to sell the merchandise is to at least get 10 percent of those people that like my content from facebook ads and get them to buy a t-shirt i'm gonna do also hoodies and i'm gonna do some small other things that they can purchase just from this ad after i run this ad guys i'm gonna definitely let you know what the results are so make sure you comment like and subscribe because i'm giving so many valuable content on marketing your music but if you also want to learn forex which is a great way to invest in your music which i do then of course follow me so other than that guys if you want to see more i will see you guys soon peace and love